Hello, friends. I greet you from our sanctuary, a place where we all find peace, and we experience God's presence in special ways, and we indeed recognize and know that here in this place and here through this place, we receive great hope. And these are difficult times. And so part of the way that we as a church can connect, and Pastor Carl and I want to make sure we connect with everyone, is to be able to connect with you every day. And so we're going to be posting uh, a video devotional every single day uh, through our YouTube channel. And we're going to be sharing those as a means by which uh, you can have a, a, a shot in the arm of faith uh, that there could be a word from, uh, from us, from our staff, from some of our leadership uh, in ways that we're seeing God at work uh, among us, even in the midst of the craziness of this wilderness time. We are indeed in the season of Lent, uh, and indeed during the season of Lent we go deeper and deeper, and um, we will emerge, however, as Easter people, and we claim that Easter hope now. Uh, many of you know that we have been sharing uh, for, for weeks, uh, for months now actually, our uh, Lenten devotion or our, our devotional. Uh, and this Lenten devotional I thought was wonderful today. Uh, Pastor Carl wrote this uh, for today's. And it says, some people feel like there is nothing they can do about the virus going on around. And so they seek ways to control the world around them that are a bit silly. Some people in the past week have gone so far as to take all the local toilet paper from the stores, causing a nationwide shortage, even though COVID-19 is a respiratory illness. Everybody wants to have a feeling of control. However, the ways we try to attain control can often be weird. When we look to our scripture, the psalmist says that we can let God be the one who is in control, that we can wait on the Lord. And it says this isn't so much a story about God not helping, but about how too often we can try to fix things and we can try to rush things. And if we are nervous, we will take action. But if we wait, then God indeed can be at work. You had some questions. What sort of things do you try desperately to control? <laughs> are these the kinds of things that God could help you with? And can you remember a time when you asked God for help and looked for where that help was coming from? The psalm for this was a bit different than what I was moved to pick on today, but it still has the same message. And it's from Psalm 27, and I invite you to read the whole psalm, maybe now, maybe sometime later on today, but I just want to read you the first and the last lines because I think that they encapsulate the posture by which we can live into this faith and which we can share day to day with Christ and with one another. The psalmist says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And he ends this psalm by saying, wait for the Lord. Be strong, take heart, and wait for the Lord. So today and the days ahead, wait for the Lord. Look for what God would do and don't get anxious. Give some of that control over to God. And indeed, God will transform you and transform us and be with us in this wilderness time. Would you pray with me? Oh God, in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the wilderness, when we feel the need to try to control step in and bring us peace. When we feel the desire to give ourselves and trust ourselves over to you more often, give us the strength and the courage and the joy to do so. And when we find ourselves in those spaces where you touch our lives and reveal your great grace to us, help us to see and receive. 
and celebrate with great joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Be safe, my friends, and abide in Christ. Thank you.